Now I'm going to cancel out of this templates dialog and I want to move us over to the copy components area. The copy components wizard provides a four step workflow for copying components from a source template or working papers file into a destination working papers file and can be accessed from the home screen by selecting copy components right here or via the menus by selecting under the file menu copy components. This wizard enables you to copy all or some components from one client file to another. Now the following types of copy are available. The first of three copy into this file is not displaying because I'm not currently in a working papers client file. So the option would be there, copy into this file if I were, and components from another client file would be copied into the currently open client file. For the two that are there, copy into a new client file. The new client file is created and components from the currently open file will be copied into the new file. Copy into an existing file is also an option and components will be copied from the currently open file into an existing file. Once the copy is finished when you're copying into an existing file, the working paper software moves you into that file. Now examples of copy components that can be copied from one file to another include documents, groupings, journal types, the trial balance, and history settings. Now I'm going to select copy into a new file. And this opens a dialog that asks me for the new file name. And my file today is going to be called Same Systems Inc. And as always, I like to include the fiscal year in my file name. And this is going to be an older file, a 2012 file. Now, I've already got the location selected how, where I want this file to show up. But I could browse this to go somewhere else. I'm just going to click Next. And at this point, I need to specify what file I want to use as the file that I'm going to copy to. So I'm going to go to the file menu and choose my firm standards file and there it is right there. And click next. Now the copy components dialog which is part of the copy components wizard enables you to select the components to be included in the copy operation. Now the first option is all components. We can select all components to copy all components of a client file including the document manager the working trial balance report setup, the mapping database, programs and checklists, the tick mark library, and case view documents. Now very important, do not select this option if you're bringing the content into a file that already has content which you wish to maintain. In that situation, you would like to choose the following components so that you can pick and choose additional content that you'd like to bring into your current working paper file. So instead, we select the following components to copy the selected components of the file. An option is displayed only if it is present in the source file. So the source file has all of these components available to be copied over and I'm just going to run through those components. So we start off at documents and we select documents to choose the documents that you want to include in the new file. When choosing documents, Working Papers requires exclusive rights to copy folders. If the file being copied is in use by another user, the program generates an error message. And when copying documents identical to existing documents in the source file, the program checks each document and if the existing document in the destination file has no annotation, the annotation in the source file is copied into the destination file. If the destination document already contains annotation, annotation in the source file will not copy with the document. Now, where two different document types have the same number in both the source and destination file, the copied document is placed at the top of the document manager in the destination file and given the next unique document number that's available in the file. For example, if the document number 2 and number 3 is already in use in the destination file but not number 4, then the copied document is given the next available number 4 in that situation. Now we do have the ability to select from a number of different filters. I'm going to leave it on all documents and right now I want to copy the documents and I'm also going to copy the folders today. And we'll copy the empty folders as well. So I've selected everything. I'm going to bring the whole thing across in this example. Next we have our groupings and mappings. And if there's a grouping in the source file, it will have the option to copy into the destination file. So my source file has mapping, lead sheets, and group two and other options are available to determine whether we're going to replace or merge into the new file. 
and how we're going to do that. I'm going to cancel that. Options are also available for our other groupings, group one through group 10, group one being set as the lead sheet by default. Now once we've got this all set up, we can click set as default button to preserve the selections that you've made in the mapping and grouping options. This will create a template.ina file in the folder for this client file that lists all of your selections for these options and makes the same selections every time you use this file as the source for a copy components operation. This option does not copy any taxonomy assigned to the mapping numbers. The taxonomy database is copied only with the all components option. Next we have structures. And we select structures to copy the structure definitions from the source file into the destination file. Now for you longtime users, it's quite possible that in the early days you set up the report tab to be able to create those ad hoc balance sheet and income statement documents for automatic documents. Structures provide a much more flexible and reusable way of creating the layouts that you want for balance sheet and income statements for your automatic documents. I happen to have three structures available to me in the source file that I'm going to copy into the destination file. Under that we have our issues and we select this to copy our issues added to documents. For more information on copy issues, we can also see the copying issues in the help. But if we copy issue types and select the override option, the following behavior will occur. Any issue type that exists in the source file but not in the destination file will be added to the destination file. Any issue type existing in both source and destination files will be overwritten by the issue from the source file. And any issue type that exists only in the destination file will not be changed. So we do have views, types, and issues available to us and merge and update options as well as replace and override options are available. So make sure you're selecting the items, the behavior that you want for the result that you expect. Now tags is not in my list here but if it were we can select tags to copy tags to the destination file and any new tags will be appended to the file and the existing tags will be overwritten. Role sets. Under tools, options, roles, we have the ability to create multiple role sets so that I can have two users sign off on one document, maybe three or four or five, all the way up to eight, sign off on other documents within the client file. So we select role sets to copy any existing role sets and their settings. We select tick marks to copy the standard and customized tick marks and any extended descriptions. For journal types, we're going to copy the default journal types because they're already part of the Working Papers application, but we select journal types to copy any journal types that you've created and customized and bring them into the new file. Now I have a trial balance option here, and this allows me to copy the trial balance, but before I get there, there's three items that are not on my list, custom balance IDs. Under tools, options, lists, we do have the ability to add custom balances and this allows us to copy the information from one file to another. Units is also not listed on my list and we can select units to copy units information to the new file. Units are primarily used for performance measure identification. And language IDs. Under tools, options, lists, and languages, we can select language IDs so that we can copy multiple language information that is configured in that area. With the language IDs, we do have the ability to switch languages and input alternative languages in the document manager descriptions and all our grouping descriptions and our account descriptions as well. So back to the trial balance. We select this to copy the working trial balance, chart of accounts, lead sheet and grouping assignment, ratio classes, report setup, account linkage, adjusting journal entries, other entries, and map numbers assigned to accounts. Annotation and tick marks copy unless the appropriate clearing options have been selected and we'll look at clearing options in the next dialog. Any accounts that are locked in the source file will also be locked in the destination file by default. In addition, choosing to clear the account balances unlocks all accounts. When copying the trial balance, it's worth noting if a source or destination file is consolidated, you cannot copy the trial balance component. If you're using SmartSync, you cannot copy the trial balance components into a synchronized copy. And when copying the trial balance, all engagement values for the reporting dates and period dates 
are also copied. Now, along with trial balance information, you may have split up accounts. This particular file does not, but we would select that to copy any of the split up accounts with their structures as well. Tax export codes. Again, the base tax export codes will always come with the file. They're part of the application, but we'd select tax export codes to copy any tax database to the new file. And this comes in handy if you are creating custom tax codes or extending the existing tax database. So we use this option if the tax database has changed. For example, if new subcodes have been added to the default tax database. Working Papers appends any new codes to the file and overrides any existing codes that are the same. Not listed here because it's not turned on. Security, and we'd select the security to copy aspects of security including user groups and their respective access rights. Since user lists are stored in the program folder, they are not copied. Note, to copy security settings to an existing file, users must have the following protection rights in the target file. Copy components and allow copying of security settings. If the user doesn't have these rights, a notification will appear and the security settings will not be copied. And we can see creating groups and access rights in the help for additional information on that area. Document filters. Now, in the document manager, we have the document filter bar showing across the top. And if we've created custom built document manager filters, we have the ability to copy that component from one file to another. This file is not created from a template, so I don't have the template toolbar option which appears if your client file was created from a template for which a template toolbar has been defined. We select this option to copy the template toolbar into the destination file. We select layout to copy the layout of a source file into the destination file and it evokes whatever current layout is specified on the tools menu under options in the layout settings. So tools, options, layout is where we change our default layouts. This option copies the st.xml file into the destination file, thereby replacing any existing XML file that would have been used previously. Now, taxonomies refer to extensible business reporting language, so we would select taxonomy to copy any XBRL taxonomy files in the source client taxonomy directory to the program taxonomy directory. For more information, again, we can look into help to see information on taxonomies and XBRL tags. History settings is next. And we select this to copy the settings found in the file history of the source file to the new file. User defined data, we would select that to copy user defined information to the new file. And once all desired selections have been made, we could click next. But before I do that, I also want to mention the case view repository files. Now case view has the ability to store scripts and images that are being used for button cells in a repository so that they ha don't have to be duplicated in every single case view document. So if we've got a case view repository file that we may want to use in another client file, that can be copied using the copy components. So once all the selections have been made, we would click next to view the clearing options. Now the clearing options dialog enables you to specify components to be cleared in the destination file during the copy components wizard operation. If a component is not included in the copy operation, it's not going to be listed in the list of components that can be cleared. So we start at the top, account balances uh, can be cleared, spreadsheet analysis, program checklist information for an exchange, role completion, program assertion, commentary text, etc. Now we can choose these one at a time or we can right click using the context menu and we have then the option to select all, deselect all, and so forth. I'm going to select all here, but I don't want to clear my account balances. I want to have some account balances in the file. Now, when we're finished making our selections, we then have the ability to once again click next, which takes us to a summary of what we're about to do, and then we can click finish to complete the copy. Now, because I'm creating a new file with this process, the default blank file document manager is employed and any other documents copied will appear at the top of the document manager as this message shows up. Documents have been added to the top of the document manager. So I click OK and 
Just get into that new file that I've created, same system sync. There we go. Now, to move those extra, oh, you know what? Because I chose to include the folders, the additional documents are actually already in place where I want them because the folders were utilized. Now, it's worth noting, if, they, if I hadn't selected choose the folders, then I would have had to grab the documents and drag them into position wherever I wanted them. Everything's coming nice and clean, and we have the folders and everything else. 